Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I will be sharing how to master JavaScript in just 30 days. Yes, you heard it right. In just 30 days, you will be learn programming concept, asynchronous concept, core JavaScript, also DSA with JavaScript. So if you are someone who wants to become a web developer or wants to get a decent web developer job, so this video is for you. So I have created a 30 days JavaScript roadmap in which you will understand about the programming concept, the development concept, core concept and DSA. And if you are able to give 3 hours per day, that is uh, around 100 hours of JavaScript, that's enough for a fresher web developer job. And you can easily create any interview after giving that much of time. So let's get started with the roadmap. So this 100 hour of JavaScript is divided into three parts. That is the first part is the development part. That will take you 50% of 100 hours. That is 50 hours should be devoted into the development concept, building projects, uh, practice JavaScript. And the 20 uh, is divided into the core JavaScript where you will learn about the hosting, event loop, closer and rest 30 hour will be for DSA. And that's enough. So, Let's get started with the roadmap first. So what you have to do is, first of all, you have to learn about the introduction of JavaScript. Uh, you have to make yourself comfortable with the JavaScript syntax. You have to learn about the variables, data types, operators, flow, control flow, conditional statement, loops, and uh, you have to learn about the function, arrow, uh, um, arrow function, and array, objects. So for that, you should watch this 30 minute, uh, this 90 minute video on javascript for beginners and once you complete that you should definitely check out this notes this is very good for uh, revising the javascript whatever you have covered in that 90 minute you will get revised with the help of this notes and you can find all these notes um, on the website the front and freak official website so once you watch the video you watch the no you read the notes so you are comfortable with the javascript but you should understand it in a better way, what you are going to do is you will go to JS Challenger website. It is it also have a premium section, but we will concern about the free section only. So there are the three sections: JavaScript Basics, JavaScript DOM, and JavaScript Practice. So first of all, what you have to do after watching this JavaScript for beginners video, you have to complete this 91 practice question. So this 91 question are enough where you will learn about the variables, booleans, operator, string, conditional, function, array, object, loop, scope, asynchronous. So you can skip asynchronous for now. But first of all, finish this uh, question that will be like around 80 question. So once you finish that, you are comfortable with the um, if statement loops and the function. So that's your first day. And I would say it will take two to three days to get better in the JavaScript and comfortable in the JavaScript. So now what you have to do, the second step will be learning DOM object manipulation. So you have to learn ab about the uh, DOM. So learn about the document object model, um, learn about how to add a node, how to delete a node, how to um, edit a node and uh, learn about the get element by class, class name, tag name and uh, yeah. So that what you can do is you can build a simple uh, counter um, project where you can add increment decrement and a reset button and for that you should also watch this 30 minute video and also refer the notes in the notes if you scroll down you can uh, see the um, javascript don notes as well so here you can see the notes and after uh, like watching the video after seeing the notes what you have to do is you have to go to javascript dom section and here you are going to solve 20 question and that's enough so you have to watch the video both uh, read the notes and then solve these 20 question and that's enough for uh, understand about the dom but to make it more impressive what you should do is um, you should build a project on javascript dom because dom is one of the most important uh, thing in the javascript so what you are going to do is you are going to build a whole project on DOM. So check out this Google Keep clone. It will be like take you four to five hours to build. It is just one hour of video, but I have also said five to six features that you have to implement by yourself. Because I uh, I believe that watching tutorial will not help you until and unless you work on it. So you watch one hour of video, then you have to devote two to three hours of yourself to make it a uh, unique feature, make a unique design or something that like that. 
you should work on so in this google keep let me show you how this project will be look like so here you can see these are the javascript nodes you can delete the node you can restore the node and uh, you can go to the home section so this was the archive section you can go to the home section and uh, you can search your nodes as well and you have to create this uh, google keep clone now once you are able to create uh, this google keep clone you will have a solid fully interactive project also uh, you will understand about the local storage session storage because you want to store your nodes and so you will understand about the storage in javascript as well now what you have to do is once you understand about the dom and the local storage session storage now it's time to learn the very important concept uh, so many startups of mnc ask question related to this topic and the topic is set timeout set interval clear timeout and clear interval for that what we are going to do is we are going to build a whack a mole game in this game you are going to understand about these four topics also you will learn about how to add music in javascript so this is how the game will look like i will not create this type of game i will create a very simple game but i will give you a feature adding a feature of easy medium hard you have to create this easy medium hard level you have to implement the high score feature so once you click on start new game the game will be start and you have to whack on this mole and you can see you can pause the game you can start the new game and this is how it should work like and it will be very impressive project so once you are able to done with the whack a mole game the second uh, the last thing that you have to do in your development journey of uh, javascript uh, before getting your first internship is understand about the asynchronous uh, javascript so under the asynchronous programming you will understand about the fetch api how to fetch an api how to fetch the data from the api uh, promises what is promises what is async and await uh, what is then and catch so you will learn about this by building a github wrapper project so in this project what you have to do is your this is your simple github wrapper profile wrapper you have to write your username and you will ask for the get details so once you are going to ask for a detail it will fetch the data from the uh, github api and so it so here you can see so here you can see that uh, it's showing the profile picture the name the number of repository followers following and all of my repos here and one more thing that you can do here is you can show the um, repos uh, you can sort list on the basis of folks size and the star so this is also one of the interesting project that you are going to build while learning javascript and these three project G uh, google keep clone whack a mole game and get a profile wrapper are very interesting projects to build they are fully interactive uh, they have a lots of functionality and you can do you can implement lot more feature on that so that are uh, good for beginner and also for a in, uh, intermediate uh, javascript programmer so now as of now you have understand about the uh, development uh, part of the javascript and after learning this topic you can easily crack i would say 50% of the web developer interview now to complete uh, more 50% of web developer interview you have to learn about the core javascript for that what we are going to refer we are going to refer the best core javascript playlist namaste javascript by akshay saini so you should check out this playlist uh, it contain uh, 23 videos and um, there will be one more uh, season so it uh, it is around 25 video and i would say you um, you should give at least 50 um 15 to 20 hour uh, for watching this video or you can um, check out the online notes as well you can find it on the google online notes or i will link them in the description you can find all the resource in the description so do check out this namaste javascript it will take 15 to 20 hour also after completing this video um this course you should also um, check out the most asked interview question from the interview website or just google it you will find lots of interview question on the um, github repos and the google and so all those questions so i would say 20 hour of namaste javascript and um, next 5 to 10 hour or 5 hour of uh, solving those most asked interview question and read about that so once you do that you have uh, given your 75 hour in the web development part and the core javascript part and now you are able to solve 90% of the interview but very few startup also ask about the dsa like very very few startup ask about the dsa as a web developer you don't need to solve hard dsa problem if you are comfortable with the array string object map trees 
and recursion you are good to go so for that what you can do is check out this uh, geek for geek article in this article you will learn about the link layer stack queues array and all the complexities and practice problem on the dsa so this single article is enough so you can check out this article and learn about all these concept in javascript and that's all enough i would uh, really say and if you want to solve more question you can check out the lead code for practicing or the geeks for geeks and so like 50 to 70 question are enough i would say 50 and 70 question on dsa in javascript are enough for a web developer but if you want to solve or learn more about that so you can check out the playlist uh, by the roadside coder and he, he has all like uh, created a time complexity array and uh, yeah stack and queue is also there recursion is also there so he have make uh, like video on most important topics so you can check out this or i would say this is also like he is creating lot more video in this playlist so do check out this playlist and you are good to go so that's all about how to learn javascript in 100 hours so if this video helped you don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button also if you want to prepare for the interview do connect with me on the uh, top mate i will take your mock interview so thanks for watching